StarCast 5, presented by CarShield, July 29th to 31st in Nashville, Tennessee at the Nashville Fairgrounds. Loaded with stage shows including Renee Paquette's sessions with the American Dragon, Brian Danielson, Soraya, Turning the Page, The Horsemen reunite on stage for one last ride, and Bret Hart's look back at 30 years later on his SummerSlam Classic. And of course, StarCast will be capped off by Ric Flair's last match. Follow the story leading up to the last match over at rickflairslastmatch.com. Tickets and information available at StarCast.com. That's the basic situation there. So what? Uh, so we got. Uh, we're going to talk about this weekend now, or? All right. So here are the shows. SummerSlam has got Roman Reigns, Brock Lesnar, Last Man Standing for the title. Pat McAfee and Happy Corbin. Bobby Lashley Theory for the U.S. title, and of course Theory is also vowing to cash in after the main event. Usos versus the Street Profits for the tag team titles. Jeff Jarrett, special referee. You know, Liv Morgan. Mon- Mon- Montez Montez got uh, shaken up in that match on Monday night, so he actually it looked like he got a broken nose, but I don't think it was broken. But um, he was bleeding all over the place. We got Liv Morgan, Ronda Rousey for the SmackDown title. Bianca and Becky for the Raw title. Logan Paul versus The Miz and The Mysterios versus The Judgment Day in a no DQ match. So that show is Saturday. And then also Saturday is UFC 276. And, and is headlined Japan, by. New, New Japan Saturday, too. Yeah, we'll get to that. Juliana Pena and Amanda Nunez is the main event of the UFC 277 show. Brandon Moreno, Kai Kara France as well. Derek Lewis, Sergey Pavlovic. And uh, Alexan- Alexandre Panto uh, Pantoja. Pantoja. Yes, versus Alex Perez. Yeah. Okay. So Pena and Nunez is obviously very big women's fight because Pena beat uh, Nunez, who's the best women fighter of all time. Um, in you know, Nunez gassed out in the second round. You know, just you know, and then Pena beat her. I didn't think Pena. You know, it was one of the biggest upsets in history. I didn't think Pena as a fighter looked particularly good in the fight, um, but Nunes wasn't herself, and she was just getting off COVID, and it was a sloppy fight. It didn't look like two great fighters at all, and then they were just slugging, and then Nunes just was out of gas, and Pena beat her. It was um, amazing to watch. So this is the rematch, um, and uh, we'll see if Nunes is, you know, fighters at some point are done. Or maybe it was just a bad day and she was sick. I don't know what it was, but we will find out. Um, you know, I mean, Pena is not that good, but she is she is the champion. Um, and then uh, Moreno and Kaikar France is a interim flyweight championship fight. You know, Moreno um, is uh, Moreno's had like the three matches with Davison Figueroa, and if he wins, uh, he'll have a fourth match with him because uh, Figueroa's injured and. Um, He'll fight the winner of this match. And then uh, Pavlovic and Derek Lewis. It's a test to see, you know, where Pavlovic is. Derek Lewis is kind of like the gatekeeper in that heavyweight division. If you can't get past him, you're not going to be a top contender. But if you beat him, you're somebody to reckon with. And, and that's the test right here for in that fight. All right, we've also got uh, New Japan Music City Mayhem, which is coming up on Saturday as well. So that's going to be that's an afternoon show, so it will be um, over before SummerSlam. Um, and uh, this is the show with John Moxley versus El Desperado in a no DQ match. So that's such be... a weird match. I mean, yeah. it's just like a no DQ out of nowhere, and Desperado who's a great wrestler, you know, I mean, no doubt about it. This guy is awesome. Well, we're going to fight not... out if he can fight. Well, he, he'll, you know, I'm sure they're going to have a good match. I mean, you know, but um, it's just interesting him being in a main event against John Moxley. It's just a weird match because he's not usually, like, he's not really um, a main eventer in Japan or anything. Um, although he did, they did do the show in Charlotte this last weekend, and I think it was a three-way with uh, was it Desperado, Hiromu, and um, oh god, who was the third guy? Was it Clo- no? Um, hold on, I actually have this somewhere. Um, let me get to. Uh, well, while you're doing uh, that, it was Desperado, also- Hiromu, and um, it was supposed to be um, Clark Connors. 
um, as the main event, but it ended up being Blake Christian because Clark Connors has a herniated disc in his back. So he's had Clark Connors is out of action. So okay. So yeah, Horomu and Blake Christian, Davey Richards versus Rocky Romero for the MLW National Openweight Title. Alex Shelley versus Kushida is on the great. show. That's going to be a great match. Fred Rosser and Big Amo for the New Japan Strong Openweight Title. FTR and Alex Zane versus Kyle Fletcher, Mark Davis, and TJP. And uh, Fred Yehai, Shoto Mino, and Yuya Uimura versus Kevin Knight, Ren Narita, and the DKC. So that is New Japan on Saturday afternoon. And then Sunday is Ric Flair's last match. We've got Flair and Andrade versus Jarrett and Jay Lethal. We have a. Have you watched? Have you watched the promo stuff? I have. Very, uh, very I, well done. I did not see the third. I've seen the first two. Um, I've just been so busy with everything. Um, how was the How was the third? I haven't seen the third one. Oh, okay. I didn't even know there was a third one till just now. Actually. Okay. Yeah. The first one was great. Second one was good. Um, the third one was the one with the contract signing. You know, but I haven't. I haven't watched that ang- that that angle yet. Oh, you're talking about the one where they actually shot the angle where, or no, the no, the contract signing would have been out. Yeah, so I saw the, the I said the second one, but not the third one. Yeah. Okay. Well, we've also got a uh, what I presume is now. I don't know if it's going to stay a four way with another person, but Jonathan Gresham, Nick Wayne, Alan Angels, and Takeshita. I guess Gresham may still be working this match. I actually don't know. I don't either. I was given the I mean, impression heard, that he was not doing take- a lot from this point forward. Yeah. So I don't know. Yeah, so so it's it's uh, Nick Wayne Takeshita and who's the other guy? Alan Angels and Gresham. Yeah, okay. Um, isn't Nick Wayne and Takeshita wrestling a singles match for GCW this weekend too? They're doing a singles match. I'm not sure if it's this weekend, but it probably it's, it's, is. It's it's it's, it's, it's part week. of Starcast. Yeah, no, there's a GCW show and and um, it's a pretty loaded lineup. But I remember Nick Wayne and Takeshita is like the big match on that show, which. Nick Wayne's getting to wrestle like some of the best guys in the world. You don't say. Yeah. That's all he's been doing is wrestling the best guys in the world. Yeah, yeah. To catch it on him, that's going to be freaking awesome. Yeah. we got a bunkhouse battle royal with the participants to be announced. We have Kerry and Ricky Morton versus Brian Pillman Jr. and Brock Anderson. We've got Davey Richards and Eddie Edwards versus Alex Shelley and Chris Sabin. We've got... Really Yep, Phoenix, Taurus, Laredo Kid, and Bandito. Okay, that match is going to be freaking... That's the match that's going to just steal the show. I mean, well, I guess Ric Flair will steal the show somehow or other. Um, you know, but uh, that match is going to be incredible, though. We've got Josh Alexander versus Jacob Fatu for the that's Impact be, title. That's actually going to be really great. That yeah. one's going to be great. Rachel Ellering, Deanna Parazzo, and Jordan Grace for the Impact Knockouts title. We got Killer Cross and Harry Smith. Clark. Well, I guess that Clark Connors. We talked about that. And uh, Von Erichs well, versus it, the so, Briscoes. So, so the, the Clark Connors match is going to be uh, Ren Narita again. You know he's out. It's going to be Ren Narita and Yu Yui Mura, which is actually a great match too. Yeah. So that is uh, that's Sunday, and that one is available. You can go to RickFlair'sLastMatch dot com, and basically everything we've been talking about is all available there. Yeah, they so, got a Ric Flair uh, roast too. You know, I was originally on that Ric Flair roast. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what happened? I mean, Eight million pay per views this weekend. Well, they asked or was this me the to, original Ric Flair roast. I was supposed to be in the original Ric Flair roast, but um, it probably I think that the other people in the Ric Flair roast because they got all Conrad's buddies and everything in there that it might not have been. I don't know. I mean, Rick probably wouldn't have minded. I'm sure he wouldn't have, but. I don't know. Some of the other people probably would have, so they're kind of weirdos. So that is uh, that's the lineup, and uh, also five star Grand Prix. Yeah, they're starting the tournament uh, from now until um, what is it like September or something? Um, but it's the women's version of the G one, and it opens with two shows at the Ota Ward Gym. So um, we'll probably be getting uh, a lot of reports on at least some of those shows. I think both. I think that both of the shows this weekend are going to be pay per views. I'm not positive of that. They run like so many. The, their their um, business 
It's like they have Stardom World, but nothing is live on Stardom World. It, it goes up, you know, the Stardom World stuff goes up like three, four days after the show. And if you want to watch the stuff live, you know, you've got to buy the pay-per-views for $44, which, you know, when they did like this last week and they did both shows like that. And I don't, um, I haven't gotten the numbers, but at the fact that they keep doing so many pay-per-views, um, I guess the idea is, is that the that the hardcore stardom fans will buy every show. Um and that's kind of like what it's built around. So um there is just it's there is just so much stuff. I mean like this is like when I was a kid, I the, like I always wished, you know, that like I mean, could you imagine like all the big shows that they had all over the country and you could just like turn on like fight TV if there was like a fight TV or or something like that. Like I was thought like, God, you know, like between the United States, you know, all the, you know, the whether it's Atlanta or St. Louis or Madison Square Garden or Philadelphia or or wherever, you know, Cow Palace. Um, you know, all the big arenas and everything. I mean, there was big shows, Minneapolis, Chicago. There was big shows everywhere. Every weekend, there was a ton of shows. But, you know, the technology wasn't there, and wrestling was completely different. And then I always wished that, like, I could see, like, the All Japan 90s stuff. We had to wait for the tape to come to the video store or me to get the tape in the mail, you know, a week later. And then we only would get, like, the main events and we wouldn't even get to see like those great Doug Furness and Dan Crawford matches, you know, ex ex you know, most of the time on Budokans and everything, and um, and New Japan too, you know, where they would have those great shows. And now it's just like, okay, now we can see everything and just can't keep up. It's impossible. I guess then it would have been impossible too. But uh, yeah, it's just uh, it's 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 very lucky. I mean, um, there's just so much. You know, all over the world, there's there's just so much stuff that you can watch. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week, you can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work. Working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.